Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna share to you uh, the latest upgrade that I did on my gear. Uh, so I recently have DJI Ronin SC. <laughs> to DJI Ronin S. So the difference between the DJI Ronin SC and the DJI Ronin S is obviously the size. This is much bigger than the SC and the weight it can carry. So the SC can carry 2.2 kilogram while the S, the DJI Ronin S, pretty much is big. It can carry 7 kilogram. So why did I upgrade on DJI Ronin S instead of it staying into DJI Ronin SC? So the, the factor uh, that pushed me to upgrade into Ronin SS is the weight of my camera. So back then I was only using prime lenses to record videos. But recently when I did a wedding, uh, I'm on a tight space so I don't have the capability of um, capturing the whole scene so what I end up doing is just sticking into 50 mil and then just trying to get around the uh, tight space so that's inconvenient for me so uh, what I did is I bought a zoom lens which is 24 to 105 f4 l lens EF lens uh, I don't see it yet so basically I have uh, the range from 24 up to 50 mil uh, zooming and that way at 24 I can zoom out and get the wider shot and then afterwards gotta go zoom in at 50 mil to get the tight shot or the de detail or close-up shot so that's what I did so that's why I upgraded into the S now the another difference between the SC and S is this doesn't have gimbal or like axis lock. So whenever you whenever you use this or put it in a bag, it's just like this without the lock. So it's a bit inconvenient, especially with this really big gimbal, like the SC. Um, it has all the access lock so you have the lock here you have the lock on the side here and then you have the lock for this so it's easier for you to carry or travel with that gimbal but uh, I noticed when I use this uh, practicing it just a while back it's a bit smoother compared to the SC so basically with my SC back then, I have the prime lens, which is I think the 50 mil. I have 50 mil on this, and then I have this mounted on top. So basically I think that reaches uh, or maxes out the weight limit of the SC. So whenever I try to shoot, with this thing on top, if this wiggles, the gimbal wiggles. So it's not really balanced at all. I tried, I tried everything. I tried to balance it, but it's still, it's it's not really coping up with the weight that it carries. So I decided to sell my SC, and then added up a uh, fair fair amount to grab the DJI Ronin S. Now, uh, before I bought the S, I already have the grip, 
if you see the script, this is not included with the DJI S, Ronin S. This is separately sold. But this can make your life easier because you can you can do dual handle and then you can do sling. So you can remove this. You can remove it. Grab the lock. Pull it up. Then you can put it as a sling mode. And then lock it in place. Ooh, wow. Now, I'm gonna lock it. So you see that the, the disadvantage is it keeps on rolling because there's no lock, right? But so far, the handling is good. The battery is quite big too, see? The battery is bigger than the SC. Uh, pretty much it has the same button. It has the, has the knob. It has the record, it has the M, and then it has the power button at, on the side here. Then your battery indicator is right here, the bottom. Now, uh, the other thing is, the cable that you used on SC, like, so this is the cable that I bought for my SC to be able to control the record button on my camera onto the uh, button here but this doesn't work with S so I have to buy a separate cable that will work on this which is the RS RS cable I believe this one is RS USB something like that I have the cable I have so I really I bought this separate it's because when I bought the DJI Ronin SC, it doesn't include this. So I don't know, they, the previous owner kept it or maybe lost it, something like that. Or he even bought it used without the cable. So I ended up buying the cable for the SC, which is this one, which is USB to USB. C, uh, USB C to USB C. So this uh, connects. To your camera you connect it to your camera down here and then the other end connects to the uh, side of the gimbal which in terms helps you to do the rec recording at the bottom so yeah pretty much it this one is heavy this thing is heavy uh, imagine you're carrying maybe around 10, 10 kilograms of weight when doing the uh, video or recording a video or capturing a video. So you must work out. You know, uh, this is the box. See, when I when I first saw it, it was really big. You now it's like a tashi case. <laughs> So the, the previous owner of this he just used it twice, I believe, just twice or three times. Then he sold it. Uh, he's a wedding uh, videographer. So yeah, he said that we could try and work out together. But yeah, the that's that's really good. That's really see. Compared to the SC, it's really small. The SC is only maybe up to here, and then that thick. So, yeah. But overall, I think the handling of this is going to be better than the SC. So, yeah. I, I'm not bragging about the upgrade. I just want to inspire anyone who is starting up on videography or as a videographer. Because I started up with nothing. Right, so eventually when I, uh, when you try to upgrade things, when you try to invest on things, then you're proud of it. You're proud of what you have done or what you have bought for your business to improve your videography skills and your photography skills. So um, I'm not bragging this, it's just that I want to show you that even if you start with nothing, 
you can still achieve what you want. You can still get what you want. As long as you put your heart onto it and pursue it, you'll get it. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and please visit my website. My website is www.propphotography.ca and you'll see all my previous work, my photography uh, portfolio and my video portfolio and then my website portfolio or web design portfolio. So. Basically, I am a photographer, I am a videographer, I am a web designer, and I am a good dancer. So, give it up. No, it's still, I'm not, I'm not good at dancing. So yeah, that's it guys. So hopefully this video uh, inspire you. Did I say it right? Video. Hopefully this video will inspire you. Uh, if so, please consider liking it and consider subscribing and help my channel. So... Until next time, guys, see you on my next video.